everybody, Scalecrafter here again. Uh, today we have a really interesting tool that I don't think you've seen before. And uh, it's by Edward Koth, was the uh, inventor. 1900 he invented part of it, and then he invented a kit made with the other part in 1905. Very rare, very unusual. I think you'll enjoy it, so let's go check it out. Okay, when I first started getting into collecting tools, I saw one of these at a tool show, and I said, man, one day I'm going to have one of those. And I finally picked one up. These things have always been expensive, uh, and when we go through it, I hope to save you from making uh, the same purchase I did. But this is a, um, a Koth, Koth Manufacturing Company. Edward Koth uh, invented this. We'll go through more about the history. Let's take a look at the shape of what it is. It's an interchangeable tool, and um, these were produced in the early 1900s. And uh, let me take it out of the box and show you what we have. Okay, you could see here on the box, this is the original box, and you could see it says Koth Combination Tool. It was patented in 1905 and manufactured by the Courier Koth Manufacturing Company, and they were out of Pennsylvania. Um, now, uh, when they first started, Edward Koth uh, invented this part of the his tool in 1900. He was awarded a patent. And, uh, and then later on, he developed these other heads that uh, would go on to the tool, and it came into a kit, and uh, they invented the Koth combination tool by 1905. That's what uh, this tool had encompassed. Now, before we demonstrate the tool, I'm just going to clean it up and get rid of, we have some, uh, some rust that's coming through here, and uh, just clean it up and make it presentable, and then we'll talk about uh, how it works and what it does. Now, uh, on one of these, uh, one handle, we had a little bit of damage where it looked like somebody was doing some banging on that. And uh, we're going to have to take that out, reform it. Remember what that looked like? That's on where the uh, nail puller is. So we'll take care of that now. Now you know my favorite part. You remember what these look like before we started. Okay, here we have the kit back to the way it would have looked when it was issued new. Uh, you could see here on one handle here, uh, if we could get the light right. Um, here we go. You can see it says Coates Interchangeable Tool and the patent date 1900 and 1905. And you could see um, the Courier Koth Manufacturing Company in, uh, in Pennsylvania. Now, he originally, Mr. Koth, was by himself in Buffalo, New York in 1900. Uh, later on, they put the kit together. He teamed up with Courier, and they came out with this uh, particular kit. It, uh, it was popular. It was a gimmick tool. However, uh, let me show you how these go now, together. To put uh, any of the tools on here, you would take, you see there's a little cutout here. Um, you would take one of the tools like this, place it in here, and you see how it forms into the cutout. So uh, that gives you a, a very good um, solid lock into here. Then you would place the other half on here, and the top also has that cutout. Put that on here, and just move it back and forth a bit, and you'll see it locks into place. When it locks into place and there's no gap, you would take the wing nut, place the wing nut on top, and spin this on once it's tight you uh you can tighten it all the way you don't have to worry and now you have a a working or in this case a pair of nippers and um what's interesting is it has this little uh spring steel here that if you wanted uh spring action you would just slide this up like this underneath the handle here and now you had spring action on whatever tool you wanted so that was pretty interesting also on the bottom of these handles here you could see you had a a nail extractor or a remover prior and you had a uh, a bit of a screwdriver here which was uh you know some added features let me show you how some of these other tools went on this set of heads would be considered a, a punch so if you wanted to punch uh, let's say a piece of leather or a piece of cardboard or something you could press it into here and you would punch out a hole like this it had a copper backing so you wouldn't uh, and it worked uh, fairly well 
and uh, let's get to our next set. Now this pair, this head would be more or less your, your cutting head. So you could use them as some kind of shear of some type. And again, you had this spring that you could bring up at any time if you wanted to make it a uh, spring action uh, cutter. So that's pretty interesting. Let's see what the next one does. Now this would be another type of shear. And uh, this type of shear is a little more heavy duty, as you could see, because it has cutters, uh, you know, basically on both sides and uh, more or less like a scissor shear, but uh, pretty stout, pretty heavy duty. And uh, that's how that one will work. And let's get to the final attachment. Now, this attachment here is the most confusing to most people. And what this is, it's an alligator type wrench and how this works, the way it is, the uh, the angle on here is set up so that when you put it onto a nut, uh, the flat side here has to be flat over here. And one of these corners will grip here. And you can see that corner will grip right there. And if you want to tighten it, that's how you would do it. You would tighten it this way. If you want to loosen it, you had to flip the wrench over like this or the pliers over, do the same thing, get it flat and then bring it down. And you see that corner will grip there. And then when you squeeze down on it, you could loosen it like that. So it was a, um, this wasn't the most popular style and, uh, and I'll go through why, uh, why these uh, failed more or less. So in closing, you're probably wondering how come you didn't, you never heard of the Koth combination tool and why did it fail? And, you know, was this a gimmick tool? And, and, and yes, it was a gimmick tool. Uh, and what we found out, and this again was 1900. So we're, we're talking a hundred year old technology, but what's interesting is it was a well-made tool. They packaged it in an array of beautiful packaging. This one here is a, a less expensive style, but they had beautiful oak cases and uh, material cases and things like that. It was a well uh, sold uh, item. The problem is whenever you have an item that does more than one uh, function, Usually they don't do it as well as if you have a single function. So any of these tools uh, will fail in comparison to a, uh, a tool that's specific to that tool. So if you had a pair of nippers, it's uh, going to be much better than these nippers and cutters will be better than these. But um, it was an interesting concept. It was the beginning of the... Uh, the combination tools or the uh you know the gimmick tools like this and uh, they sold many of them the thing is you'll find a lot of these and they're quite expensive when you do find them but the problem is with these tools is uh you'll see they're never worn out because they didn't work all that well so but it was uh, an interesting concept and it was a tool i always wanted and i hope you enjoyed the presentation of the koth combination tool uh edward koth the inventor uh, 1900 he invented this 1905 the kit came out hope you enjoyed it thanks very much for tuning in take care bye bye